Thank you, Mike. It is Wednesday. That means it is time for Cool Schools. Yes, Miss Leslie Ackerson joins us at Boyd's Creek Elementary School in Sevier County. Good morning. Good morning. We are back in the garden here at Boyd's Creek Elementary School. We've learned about how the students grow those incredible plants, but now it's tasting time. And I have Miss Funderburg here to talk a little bit about that part of the teaching for these students so they get to try some of the stuff they've made. I think that's one of the best parts is getting to try. If you're a parent, then you know lots of children are picky eaters, and <laughs> I think they're more interested in tasting foods that they may not to begin with if they have grown it themselves or if they have planted it themselves. So it's exciting. And here at school, in order to get a sticker, they have to try the cabbage ah. or whatever food it is that we've we've done before. Miss Lisa's done lots of different things, bok choy and some different um, greens like kale. And so the kids get very excited because they end up trying something that they might think is yucky to begin with and then they actually like it. Yeah, so today we have cabbage. Are we ready to try a little bite here? Yeah. Miss Lisa has used the cabbage to make some coleslaw for you, so I'm going to pass out little cups. I can't get a sticker unless I test it. Oh my god. I'm impressed. I think, I can, I think you guys did really good. And I get my sticker. You tried some cabbage from the school garden. Awesome. Here we go. I've got my sticker. This is super cool. Just one of the neat things that you get to experience here at Boys Creek Elementary. We'll have much more coming up along the morning. Good morning. We are out in the garden here at Boyd's Creek Elementary where we have Miss Lisa, who is a volunteer parent that comes in to work on gardening with the kids that we see here. And right now we're learning about gardening in cold weather because it is not quite spring yet. What are some of the fun things the students are going to get to do this week and this month? Well, we're going to plant some cabbage. So we have some bok choy, some, um, some Napa cabbage, some more Chinese cabbage and some regular cabbage, a little Swiss chard and some peas. <laughs> and the students, they all get to kind of get their hands dirty. They get to plan and then see all those uh, vegetables grow. Yes, they do. Oh, my goodness. And why is this such a cool thing to get to um, let students do? It's hands on. Well, as a parent, when you put certain vegetables on the table, um, children tend to turn their nose at it. <laughs> but if you do it at, at school where they get to take a seed, plant the seed, grow the seed, and then we get to try it here in the school, 95% of the children will try it, love it, and actually come back for more. That's a great way to get kids involved. Now, I want to I want to hear answers. What's your favorite thing that you've planted? Anybody got one? See a hand? Tomatoes. Tomatoes? Carrots. Carrots? What we got over here? Mm, hard to pick, right? What's your favorite? Apples. Apples? Peas. 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 Peas? Apples. Apples. We got one more down here. Peas. Peas. The peas are a popular favorite. I don't know that that would have been my favorite as a kid, so you're doing a good job, obviously, with this program. <laughs> this is a super awesome gardening program. One of the great things that makes Boyd's Creek Elementary so cool. I'll send it back to you all in the studio. Good morning from Boyd's Creek Elementary School. It is Cool Schools, and we are learning about one really awesome classroom that's getting busy this morning. Wyatt, you've got a colorful cup here. What is inside there right now? Um, blue mm -hmm. and red food coloring, salt and water. Salt and water. And some of these students all have different colors here. This is a little experiment that Miss Gibson's class is doing. Miss Gibson, what are the students learning about? They're learning about the um, evaporation process with the heat of the sun or the heat of any uh, source. And we're learning that solids do not evaporate, but liquids will. And it's a long process, so we're <laughs> keeping a journal to show our process and our progress each day. Wow, so where will these cups go once the students are done with them? They're going into the window over here, and hopefully sometime soon we'll have sunshine. We'll have, I know, we've had a little <laughs> bit of a rainy days. And once the sunshine comes, how long will it be before students are able to see a change? They'll probably see a change within a week or so. Oh, but wow. it, it won't all evaporate for probably a month. So this is one of our long-term experiments. We do short-term experiments and we do some where we can see immediate results and then we see uh, some experiments take longer. Awesome, well we'll let them keep on stirring. We might have to check back in a month and see what has happened. We'll have much more from Boyd's Creek Elementary coming up. Good morning. Good morning, we have made our way down to Miss Lucas's math class where these students look like they're having a lot of fun and that's because they are. I have some friends here. Tell me your all's names. Ashley. Maddie, Hunter, and you guys are working on a math project, but it looks like you've kind of got a game going on here with the cups too. Tell me how this all works. So she gave us uh, problems, and every problem we solve, we get 
uh, five cups, and we're trying to build the tallest pyramid with them. You're trying to build the tallest yes. pyramid, but you better get to work. Start building that pyramid, and you guys yeah. are working as a team. How does that work? Um, yeah, well, um, she gives us questions about area, and we solve them. And we everybody is going to solve them, and we're checking each other's work to see if that's right. Oh, so all three of you work separately and then check yes. it together. Awesome. And you've got all these cups right here, and you're trying to build a tall pyramid. And it kind of looks like you guys better hurry up, because I see some tall pyramids over here in the classroom, some other students working on their pyramids right here in Miss Lucas's math class. A fun way to get the kids involved, have a little fun competition, and you know, you get to be creative as well. Who doesn't love that? We'll have much more from Boyd's Creek Elementary coming up. Thank you, Leslie. And each month, Food City is going to give $1,000 to a school in need. You can nominate your school on our app or go to WBIR.com. Tell us why your school deserves the money.